Hi kids, I'm Rhoda. How can I help you? Are you here to bring an offering for the poor? Yes? Ah, that's great! Oh, and are you looking for Sapphira? Hmm, what can I say? You know, unfortunately she and her husband are no longer with us. They are dead. It's such a sad story and many people are now worried. Well, I wasn't there, but I can tell you what Peter told us. It's not easy to understand everything that happened, so I ask you to listen to everything first before you try to understand it. Okay? Well, here goes. I guess you've already heard that Jesus died, resurrected, and ascended to heaven, right? Before Jesus returned to his Father, he gave us a promise. And do you know what it was? He said that he would send us a comforter to help guide us in our spiritual life. And his promise was fulfilled. We were united in prayer when the Holy Spirit came upon us like flames of fire over all who were gathered. It was a spectacular experience. God gave the church the power to preach to other people about Jesus. And you know what? They even began to speak in other languages. Can you imagine having crowds of people from far away places, all able to understand the message in their own language? Many people were converted in one day. And when they prayed for the sick, the sick were healed, just as the Master had promised. But, unfortunately, the devil began to work. Some of these new followers of Christ came from families who did not want to have anything to do with Jesus. These Christians had nothing to eat and no place to live. So, we as a church began to work together as a team to care for anyone who needed help. It's amazing how well it all works. Everyone has what they need. The believers who have money donate it to the church to share with those who have nothing. This way, no one is left without food or clothes or a house to live in. I mean, just last week, Barnabas, the Levite from Cyprus, sold some of his land and donated the money he received to the church. And he's not alone. Others are doing it too, because the Holy Spirit has changed us, filled us with love, and we are happy to take care of others. There's so much unity in the church now. And it's really beautiful to live in this time, even though we are being threatened with persecution. During that time, Ananias and Sapphira were also touched by the Holy Spirit. Together, they decided to sell their land and give all their earnings to the church. But after they sold it, they changed their minds. Selfishness and greed took over and they decided to keep a part of the money. They could have been honest, but in order not to look bad in front of the others, they decided to lie and tell the disciples that they had not gotten much for their land. They were sure no one would find out. So Ananias proudly took some of the money to Peter, no doubt expecting Peter to thank him for his generosity. But that didn't happen. The Holy Spirit was saddened by the lie Ananias and Sapphira told and revealed to Peter the truth. Peter asked Ananias if he had really given the full amount. Peter gave Ananias the opportunity to tell the truth. But Ananias had let Satan fill his heart with greed, selfishness, and pride. He foolishly stuck to his lie. In doing so, he sinned against the Holy Spirit and against God. 
When Ananias realized that his lie had been discovered, he fell dead at once. Three hours later, Sapphira came looking for her husband. When Peter saw her, he asked her the same question. Not knowing what had happened to her husband, Sapphira told the same lie. And you know what happened? When she found out about her husband's death, she died too. Peter was very sad and so were we. Both had decided to lie to the Holy Spirit. Their lie led to their deaths. You know something? The name Sapphira means precious stone. Sapphires are precious stones that are taken out of the ground. But the miners have to shake and shake so that the other stones fall out. If you put a light on a real sapphire, it shines and shows very nice reflections. But among the precious stones, there are also many fake ones. And unfortunately, Sapphira was one of them. How sad. If Sapphira had been a genuine Christian, the light of Christ's righteousness would have shone through her. But since she was only a false Christian, she had no light and died in the darkness of her own sin. Please, don't make the same mistake she did. Don't lie to God like Ananias and Sapphira did. Do you promise? I want you to know that during the Sunday Law, God will send the Holy Spirit in the same way as He came during our time. The Bible calls it the latter rain because it is like the rain that falls before the harvest is gathered in the field. The faithful in the church who are prepared to receive the Holy Spirit will be filled with God's love and there will be no more fighting or jealousy. The church will be united and there will be miracles, just like the ones we are seeing now. But Satan will not be idle and persecution will come. For some members, these trials will help them to become stronger and more firm in their faith until God strengthens them so much that not even Satan himself will be able to separate them from God. But those who are afraid of losing their earthly possessions will abandon their faith completely and become the worst enemies of God and the Church. These trials will shake and drive out the false Christians, but the true ones will remain. Prophecy calls this time of trial the shaking. <gasps> oh no, children! It seems that Peter and James have just been arrested by King Herod. I must go and pray with the believers so that they will be faithful and their faith will not be shaken. Children, don't forget to pray so that you also can be a precious stone and remain firm until the end. Goodbye, children.